about small bathrooms is keep it suspended. So when you can, keep your toilet and your vanity off the floor. There's a lot of different styles out there and variety for you to choose from. Whether you get a custom vanity or a prefab vanity, there's a lot of options, as well as toilets, square, round, um, traditional, contemporary, different designs for you to choose from. Keeping them suspended off the floor will actually allow you to have visually more floor space, creating a larger bathroom than what you really do have. Now powder rooms. Powder rooms when small are actually kind of charming, unique and different. So have fun with it, play it up, make it feel smaller. Bold colors, different patterns with your tile, emphasize the fact that it's small, cute and different. Now, you may not have a lot of space for wall sconces, so if you can, hang a pendant from the ceiling above your sink. It'll give you the lighting that you need without creating a lot of wall clutter. Unlike powder rooms, main bathrooms are not so charming when they're small, especially if you're sharing a bathroom with your spouse and your three children. Try to keep it light. Warm tones or cool tones, whether you're, whatever your style is, keep the bathroom really neutral and light so that it creates the illusion of a bigger space, meaning, don't have a lot of contrast between your floor tile and your wall tile. Again, just you want to create that illusion of a larger space than what you really have. Another tip I have is lose the clutter. Nobody needs tchotchkes in their bathroom. It's just going to make the space feel a lot smaller than it is and add things that you don't need. Try to remember to keep it simple. Lose the clutter. Try to find ways to store your stuff in a functional storage space. Don't need to add a lot of wall mount, surface mount, uh, medicine cabinets. If you can, do something recessed. And always remember that in a small bathroom, if you have the height, use it.